Junto. That's a big spotted bass. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Southeast Ohio right now on one of my favorite rivers. This is the Hocking River behind me. We're still dealing with some cold temperatures here in Ohio. It's about 39 degrees, 40 degrees right now, but the sun's coming up and it's gonna get up into the 70s today. So I think the fishing is probably gonna start out slow and heat up as the day progresses, but I only have a few hours. So I'm gonna to try to take advantage of the free time I have on the Hawking River. Try to find some deep wintering holes, slow retrieves, dragging the Nico leeches, the Helgramites, um, just whatever, and try to get into some fish today. I already started off with a nice little spotted bass. Hopefully we can get into a smallie or possibly even a large mouth. So stay tuned for your action. Let's see if we can't catch some fish today, guys. <gasps> Let's go. Before we get started today, I'll go over my gear. Got my 610 medium fast action Daiwa Kage spinning rod. Got my 2500 Daiwa Kage spooled up in 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 braid. And I'm running it down to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Got the little uh, Bullet Z jig head on there with the uh, Nico Leech. The green pumpkin the new color that just came out so what i'm looking for on the river today is calm slack deep pools like right here to my left we got a lot of fast current over here under this bridge but right here it's probably about six or seven feet and it's nice and calm so this that could be a wintering hole for some smallmouth so we'll target this area for a little bit and see if we can't pull one out What the heck just happened? Well, something just snapped my line on the hook set. I seen it pick, I felt it pick up my lure and start swimming off into the deeper parts of this section. And I broke off. That hasn't happened in a while. That was weird, man. I seen my braid get picked up and start swimming toward the, to this deeper pocket right here to my right. What the heck? throw back in there and see if it'll bite again that was crazy crazy That's a big spotted bass. That's a toad spotted bass. Oh my goodness. Check that out. What a bruiser. Right there on the Nico leech. The new uh, green pumpkin color. Heck yeah, I knew I'd pull something out of that hole. I don't think this is what broke me off though. Let's see if my other leech is in there. No? What a pig. That's a specimen right there. It's probably 13 inches. Heck yeah. All right, let's get a release on this beauty. That might be the first spotted bass caught cast to catch on the green pumpkin. The new color that's coming out soon. Man, that's a beauty. What a beauty. Look how fat. Probably weighs a pound and a quarter. Let's get him over here. This water is super cold. There he goes. Let's go. All right, we're gonna leave this hole. We fished here for a solid 40 minutes. We picked up one spotted bass and I broke off on something. I don't know what happened. Maybe it got up underneath a branch or something. When I went to set the hook, it just broke on me. But it was definitely a fish. I seen my line get picked up and get slowly taken out, which you just gotta be super patient during these time, this time of the year. But we, we, we ended up pulling one fish out of this little hole and it's just above 40 degrees right now. The day's gonna get warmer, but we're gonna go to a different wintering hole and see if we can't pe catch some more fish today. This right here is a textbook location that you're trying to find when you're searching for cold water smallies, spotted bass. We have main current to my left, a little bank that's cut, and a nice slow moving eddy. It's probably about five to seven foot deep, but just a perfect little hiding, hiding location and a wintering hole for smallies. Let's give it a shot. Let's throw this leech in here. 
see if we can't pull one or two fish out. It's a little deeper than I thought it was. Oh, there we go. I watched him come up out of the depths and just crush that leech. Come here, buddy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. That was so cool. Man, these fish are so cold. Right there on the green pumpkin. Gorgeous. All right, let's get a release on this awesome fish. I had a feeling there was gonna be some stuff over here. And that was the first cast into the, uh, second cast into the pocket. I'll, it was so cool watching him come up and eat that. Look at the colors, isn't that beautiful? It's another 13 incher. I'll take it with the weather we've been having in Ohio recently. There he goes. All right, we're gonna leave this spot. Caught a fish and lost a fish. I don't know what's going on with me today. If I'm not tying my knots correctly or what. But I've snapped off twice on two fish. And this last one was big. It was 17, 18 inch plus. It was a big fish. I seen the bronze flash right when my line snapped. Unbelievable. But I gotta go. I got class today. I'm gonna go do my class and then come back out in the afternoon. Hopefully the bite's even hotter because the temperatures are rising as we speak. It's like 55, almost 60 degrees. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. So we'll come back right after class and I'll see you on the river. All right, everyone, I just got out of class, trying to run over here to the river, fish a few more hours before the sun goes down. Take advantage of this beautiful day. It's like 78 degrees right now. The river looks excellent. Broke off on a couple fish, caught a couple fish so far, but upgrading my leader to 10 pound. I'm fishing around a lot of rock structure, a lot of sharp rocks. I don't know what I was doing with the eight pound. I was being super naive and I don't know, lost in it. <laughs> definitely hurts now because I've lost a couple awesome fish due to some breaks on the rocks but uh, yeah we'll upgrade to 10 pound go down here back on the Hawking River and see if we can't catch some more fish before the day ends let's go let's get back at it if I break off again I'm just gonna walk home <laughs> we're at location number four I think we're bouncing all over the place but that's the key to river fishing keep moving until you find the fish There we go. Another spotted bass. Chill out, bud. Little chunker. He was <laughs> he was going straight upstream. My line darted from right to left like a bullet. Little bruiser. Heck yeah, man. These fish are getting active, guys. Starting to get more active. As long as we keep warm temperatures consistently, but you know Ohio's bad for that, but Another little spot of bass for the day. There he goes. Found a little drop off right here to my left where I just picked that fish up. Let's dial into that location and see if there's any more hanging out. This water's still pretty cold. There we go. Man, they're biting that so subtle. It's another nice one. Oh, I'm getting wet. It's a spotted bass kind of day. They're biting it so subtle, man. They're choking it though. They're liking the green pumpkin. This is the little Venom Lures DK, D, D and K rig or something. They're a little EWG style, Ned. I've been pairing it up with the leech and the Helger mite lately. But another healthy spotted bass. I will take it. Beautiful. I can't believe how subtle the bite is. They're literally picking it up. And as I'm slowly dragging it along the bottom, if I feel a stoppage, I'm almost setting a hook. I don't even care if it's a snag. Their hook sets are free, right? Let's get a release on this beauty. There he goes. They're pretty active today. 
which is awesome. All right, we'll give this spot another 15 or so minutes. Then I got one more spot I want to try before it gets dark out. Another deep hole that there could be some fish stacked up on. Oh, hooked up. What in the world? <laughs> That's the first one of these I've caught up here. Freshwater drum. He freaking thumped it. Check that out. That's awesome. It's my first drum on the leech. Let's put it back. How gorgeous. Iridescent colors. There he goes. Alrighty everyone, we're gonna call it a day here on the Hocking River. I had fun. It's been a while since I got on the Hocking River and really caught some fish. It's been a long time actually. Um, probably since December, I wanna say. I've been going out and catching a fish here and there, but today I've caught caught a handful of bass, some nice spotted bass, got a small mouth, and we got a freshwater drum on the green pumpkin Nico leech, the new color that they just came out with. Yeah, I know green pumpkin's been out forever, but Nico just released it and the leech, and they got the crawl now in green pumpkin. So you can go on their website, use code CRAWLER10 to save 10% off. Your Nico baits. Go to Waterland. Use code Crawler15 to save 15% off your polarized shades, which you're going to need here this fishing season. I want to thank everybody that came out to Vance Outdoors at the fishing and boating show there and came and talked with me. It really meant a lot. Another cool thing that's going on. I'm going down to Dale Hollow Lake, April 1st, for a kayak fishing tournament. The Paddle and Fin Dale Hollow event they hold every year. I signed up for it. Hopefully my new car <laughs> makes it down. Um, I got a little cottage right there on the lake. It's gonna be an awesome time. I'm excited to fish down there. The water temps are looking excellent. The fishing reports are coming in, looking positive. So hopefully I can get into some big fish and actually compete and possibly win some stuff while I'm down there. But yeah, just another thing I'll be up to here in the next couple days or so. I've had a lot of car issues recently, but I finally got a different vehicle and hopefully, hopefully it lasts me a while. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. <gasps> Let's go!